Hi, my good friends. You see that? This is a Russian site. And this is in Russia also. And this is Russian people talking about Russian stuff. And uh, let me show you something right here. You see that? That is tendon. And that is what our whole entire earth is built of, is creatures. And this is crazy because in Russia, they're freer to speak about scientific things than we are in America. <laughs> the Russians are supposed to be not free. Well, let me tell you something. If you're a scientist in the United States, you are a slave to the system, my friend. This is exactly what you were just looking at. This tendinous fibrils. And these are the same things that are all over the earth. These hex fibrils, in no way in the world were they from volcanism. That's a tendon. And these can be tested. And there, there's no question whatsoever that these can be chemically tested and proven as to what they are because you will find the biology deep inside of them of red blood. I'm telling you right now, 100% guaranteed. My stuff is all DNA certified and tested. And this is the kind of stuff that's not allowed in the, in the United States. It's not allowed in any of the universities. Absolutely not allowed. No one will step up and discuss my DNA certified giant human remains. That's the issue. Normally you just have the straight transition. These are abrupt transitions right here. One, two, and then the next one of tendinous material splaying out into muscle that has eroded away. This is hard to see, but this is the kind of abrupt transitions absolutely straight across. Now, let me show you another one. You see that? That's the way the tendinous material it, is absolutely 100% straight across. This is all gnarly looking and these are the strappy looking things that come up. Now, let me show you something else. You see that? That's that gnarly looking stuff and that's the, the, the tendon fibrils coming up and they just straight across like that. This stuff is all over the earth. It hasn't been allowed to be discussed. The Russians allow it to be discussed. They're ahead of us in freedom as far as I'm concerned in the scientific arena anyway. You know, this is funny because I, I, was, I was all done. I was ready to post this. But I just got this thing from, this is from Rush, Russian television, RTV, RT or whatever it is. But from the Russians, and they're talking about NASA says the asteroid venue covered with carbon bearing life. Absolutely it is because it is also a biological entity and it's coming out of here. There's a blob of magnetite which is, which is blood. It's F, F E three o four or something like that. I, I I did a whole thing on this, but you know they're talking about NASA. NASA wouldn't tell 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 us about this. The Russians have to tell us. Well, NASA, you're never going to hear that from NASA. That it's covered with organic molecules. It's all, it's it's all, it, it's it's a product of life, which every single thing coming out of space is. I I've shown it over and over. I have them here. They're everywhere. Everywhere. All right, I have another video. Um, I, I, maybe it's in this video, maybe not. But it shows every detail of all of the iron meteorites and everything. Because those are also biological. All right, I love you.